Welcome back to Samesy Sundays. So last week I featured MAC Whirl lipstick and lip liner and I compared them both. I will link the video in the description box below so make sure you check that out. But this week I'm going to be featuring a similar pairing but in a different color. And that color is Stone. So I have Stone lip liner from MAC and I have Stone lipstick from MAC. Both of these retail for either $16 in the States or $19 in Canada. They are both the same price so you don't have to be worried about paying different prices for both. I have a stone lipstick on today it looks really dramatic on me I probably would never wear it full force I probably would sheer it out and wear it because it almost looks black on someone as fair as me especially in the camera it's not as black looking in the camera but I wanted to compare these two for you I know that I did the video on whirl comparing the two and when I purchased the lipstick in stone and whirl I was a little bit concerned that they might be different from the lip liner but I'm happy to report that they are almost identical especially stone I felt like the lip liner and the lipstick swatched almost identically I really enjoy the texture of this lipstick it's in their new matte collection that they've sort of revamped it's a really nice creamy matte nothing that feels too drying on the lips and it applies really creamy and really nicely but I will say that having both the lip liner and the lipstick in this color is really nice to have because it's more of a deeper color that having that precise line is really important so I felt like having the lip liner was really important for this one when I applied it straight out of the tube it gave not such a clear line and I mean you can accomplish that with a lip brush but I felt like having the lip liner and the lipstick in this is really nice although if you just have the lip liner I would probably still just recommend to have that because you can fill in your entire lip although I found that that was a little bit drying to do so both of the lipstick and the lip liner swatch almost identically so it's not necessary to have both but just keep in mind if you want more of a precise lip or more of a creamy texture it is nice to have both the lip liner gives you more precision but it's a little bit drying where the lipstick gives you a little bit more creaminess but it's not as precise. This lipstick shade isn't for everyone but it is a really popular color right now. That more gray or beigey gray kind of colors are really popular right now so that's why I think that they made it into a lipstick. I really enjoy this kind of color. It does look really dark. I would probably sheer it out or wear it with a sort of something else on top of it or underneath it because it's a little bit dark on my sort of skin tone but I think that this color is really unique and it's really nice to have a version Version of something like this so you can sort of experiment with your makeup and have fun with it at the same time. If you want to experiment with some of these colors you could definitely pair them with other lipsticks so you could use the lip liner and top it with a different lipstick or you could combine two different lipsticks or really just add a gloss and that way it's not super opaque or super really dark and stark on your complexion if you are someone who is fair like me or someone who doesn't want to play around with that pure gray or really really gray looking lipstick. If you've tried MAC Stone in either the lip liner or lipstick version let me know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure you subscribe because I'm hopefully going to be doing lots of upcoming Samesy Sunday videos. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned.